Today we do web related programs using python. The textbook for this is AI Swigert Automate the Boring Stuff with Python Practical Programming. This is textbook 1. Okay, in that chapter 11. Now, you know that the web based programming is useful for getting the information through World Wide Web as well as for web related projects. In the web scrapping, we will see how we can retrieve information from the web page using Python models. Let us start with a mini project mapit.py with the web browser model. There is a web browser model in the library which helps us to launch a new browser with specified URL. For that, we have to import web browser. This model is web browser which is available in Python library. And then if you try to open with web browser model using open method web browser dot open and then if you give a particular URL okay it opens in the web browser the same in URL here invent with python.com it opens. Now, the objective of this project is to means the objective of mapit.py project is to get a street address, get a street address from the command line arguments or clipboard. Next, to open the web browser to Google Map the page for given address means you have to write code to do the following you have to read the command line arguments from sys.argv then read clipboard contents okay and see either you can give command line arguments or you can read clipboard content anyone you can do here and then call web browser dot open to open the web browser and then this web browser should map it in Google map. It should show Google map for given address. Now, step one, figure out the URL. Yeah. See, when you try to run mapit.py, you should run in this way. Map it with this address. Map it is the file name and this is the address 870. We this. See, this is taken as or considered as command line argument okay in the command line argument this is argument 0 and next this is argv of 1 this is argv of 2 like that <coughs> argv of 0 was the file name and next later different uh, parts of the address was the address it is nothing but argv of 1 onwards now yeah to handle the command line arguments, how you can handle command line arguments in the Python? See, to command line, to handle command line argument, you need to import sys model also. Okay, you have to import sys model, sys model. Now, if len of sys dot argv greater than one indicates this project works with the more than one command line argument value. Now, if the len of sys.argv is greater than 1, then only you can run this program. Okay. Now, what you have to run? If the len of sys.argv is greater than 1, then you have to get the address, which is in the form of command line argument. That is nothing but sys.argv of 1 onwards, whatever there in the command line argument that need to be joined with the space see here 
argv of 1 onwards means all these words will be joined with the space all these words will be joined with the space into the address variable okay once you get the address variable uh, next is step 3 uh, see consider if you are any problem in entering uh, the command in the command line argument then you can get the content or address from the clipboard okay you can also get the address from the clipboard if you copied some address from any text or from any page by using control C and if you paste it to here using address variable if you store it in the address variable using paperclip.paste then the address was a given address which is in the clipboard now here len of sys.argv greater than 1 then it takes the content or value from the command line argument that is value from argv of 1 onwards otherwise otherwise if len of argument is not greater than 1 means if it is equal to 1 then it indicates you have not given the address in the command line argument then it goes to else it pastes the address from the clipboard by using paste function paste paste from the clipboard and stores in the address variable and next web browser dot open opens this google map by using www.google.com maps place and with the specified address okay that is plus address then this address will be mapped in the google map the address transferred is this in the url with the address variable okay web browser opens and google map shows the location of given address if you try to run this in the python using jupyter you can copy paste the same code you can copy paste the same code by using control c control c then go to jupyter notebook control e here you know that web browser sys paperclip 3 models web browser to open the browser sys to give command line argument value paperclip to paste the clipboard content now see anyhow you if you want to run this in the command line argument first you should save this file by using percentage percentage file and give the file name as map it dot py okay and then yeah when you try to run this it interprets first it saves the file here in this file name okay and if you learn of command line argument greater than one then one day it stores the address by joining command line arguments from one onwards otherwise it pastes from the clipboard okay tab space need to be or indents need to be maintained and open the web browser now if you try to run this it has to take the address either from command line argument or from the uh, clipboard uh, unluckily 
and this clipboard method uh, clipboard model not available here in this library now uh, because paper clip model not working we cannot uh, use uh, else statement okay we have to remove this uh, paper clip dot paste function i am going to remove now uh, if paper clip model working you can keep that line okay here during compiling of this or interpreting here during interpreting this program uh, means if you run if you run uh, then it tries to open web browser okay with this address therefore uh, you try to keep it in the same indent level of if okay uh, it you keep it inside the try, uh, if block because if uh, command line argument if you give or if you give the address in the command line argument then only it opens the browser otherwise it won't open the browser now you try to run when you try to run it writes the file into mapit.py this entire code will be saved as mapit.py now if you try to run this to run this you have to give percentage run then file name map it dot py then address whatever address you give for example kenara engineering college you can give comma also comma benjana padavu mangalore okay and now if you run this script okay this becomes a argv of 0 this becomes a argv of 1 onwards keep the cursor in this block and run it tries to open uh, web browser okay using mozilla when try when it tries to open web browser using mozilla you can see the mozilla tag okay mozilla tag is going to be open here okay it is uh, opening mozilla tag and now it is opening that address it opens that address and uh, it is taking time to search uh, with google for the given address okay and now address bar you can see the address bar is taken as google.com maps place there canra engineering college benjana padavu mangalore okay it takes address line in this way you can see that address line and it is uh, a page slow down the browser would you like would you like to continue see there is a uh, some uh, uh, it's getting delay because uh, i'm going to open uh, the particular address using mozilla okay in the web browser that is showing the address canra engineering college okay in the google map how like this the program works browser slowing down uh, the uh, application okay if you want to stop it you can stop or you can continue with this okay like this the program works